Hey guys, Omaha here. Today I'm going to be showing you the absolute easiest way to defeat Grimm in Baldur's Gate 3. So you're going to come across Grimm, the eternal protector of the forge at the end of Act 1 when you go through the Underdark and reach the Adamantine Forge. And he can potentially be a pretty difficult fight depending on your difficulty, party, and level. He has 300 hit points, he's resistant to a ton of damage types, and he can become invulnerable during parts of the fight. Well, today I'm going to show you guys a way to defeat him that's even easier and faster than the Crucible. The best of all, you won't even get hit once. So all you're going to need to do this is a level 6 Druid, a Wizard or Sorcerer with the level 2 spell Enlarge, and another party member to serve as bait and activate the wheel. So before turning the Lava Valve, you're going to position a Druid and your Wizard or Sorcerer up here on this cliff, and your bait and the guy that turns the valve down here by himself. Then you're going to turn the valve and start the fight. And you're going to make your first move. The guy down here. You're going to go over here. Lies before me. Jump across here. And turn. He's going to use his awaken ability. You're going to move this way. Jump over here. Or anywhere over here and just walk over in this general area and your turn he's gonna move towards you but he won't be able to reach you yet the lava's gonna go away and then you're gonna go down towards this edge over here somewhere over here you might want to go a little bit farther down so he can't reach you and your turn he's gonna come towards you but he still won't be able to reach you yet Then you're gonna take your druid and either be in this form already or transform into the owlbear form. And then you're gonna take your wizard Alive. So that's with your enlarged spell. Cast enlarged. Now this isn't 100 percent necessary. You can still do this without using enlarge, but this just pretty much guarantees it's gonna work. Still breathing. Despite And then you're gonna use your crushing flight ability. Leap at a target to bite it and knock it prone. So this scales with mass, which is why we use enlarge, and it scales with height. So we're super high up. You're going to want to target him without targeting your teammate, hopefully. And then you're going to use it. And you're going to one-shot him. 2,018 damage. So if you don't have a wizard or sorcerer in your squad, you can still do this without the enlarge spell. The enlarge spell just pretty much guarantees it's going to work because it increases your strength checks. And if you don't use the enlarge spell, a decent amount of the time he's going to pass his saving throw on strength and it's not going to hit. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching. Just tried to get a quick video out in between doing the subclass guides. So I hope you guys enjoyed it.